Hi, welcome back to Exerim with Naomi. In today's tutorial, I will take you through the process for generating or creating a histogram in Stata. And a histogram is useful in showing the distribution of your data. It can be used for both the continuous variables as well as the categorical variables. And in this tutorial, I want to use an example da data set that is already installed in Stata. So I'm going to select example data set and I am going to use the BP wide data. So click use. And then now we have our data. We can browse and see what we have. You can see we have patient. This is the patient number, the sex of the patient the age group, the BP before and the BP after. So that is the data that we are going to use in generating histograms in this tutorial. Now the process or the procedure, I am going to use the menu where so you select graphics then click on histogram. The, for this first example we are going to use a continuous variable so we are going to use the BP before and so we are going to remain to let this remain as data continuous since it's a continuous variable and then we can click submit and see what we have you see now we have we have generated a histogram you can see these are the bars the x axis is the BP before and the y axis is showing the density since we let the y axis remain as density but we can also change to fraction to frequency or to percentages but in this example we are going to let it remain as density so for a histogram there is a lot we can do to change the way it looks we can change the color we can add a normal distribution curve we can give it a title a subtitle we can also give it a name and I'm going to take you through that process. So for example, the first, we can change the x-axis title. Click on x-axis here. And then we give it a, a, a title. We can say it's BP before. Click submit and see what we have. Now you see the title for the x-axis has changed to BP before we can also change the the title for the y axis so in that case we are going to click on y axis and give it a title let us just say distribution and then click submit so now you see we have changed these two distribution the title for the y axis now is distribution Furthermore, we can also add a normal distribution curve, which is useful or which will help us to easily interpret our, 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 our histogram. So in that case, we are going to select the density plot and then click on add normal density plot and then click submit. So now you see we have, give, we have added a normal distribution curve. And now we see that our data is normally distributed. Also, we can we can also show the distribution of our variable that is a continuous variable by a categorical variable. So in this example, I'm going to show the distribution of the BP before by the sex of the patient. So we click by and then click here draw subgraph for unique values of variables and then select the categorical variable that you want to use in our case we are going to use sex and then click submit so now you see we have generated two subgraphs one for the distribution of BP before for male and the other one for the distribution of BP before for the female we can also change the way these graphs, the subgraphs are organized. For example, in this case, we see that they are organized in rows. We can change them to 
be organized in columns. In that case, we are going to come here, select subgraph organization. Here we select other rows or stroke columns. We select columns. We have we have only one column, and then we click accept and then submit. Now our our subgraphs are organized in columns such that the one for the male is on top and the other the one for the female is underneath. So similarly we can give or we can add a legend to our to our graph. In this case we just show rigid click rigid then show rigid and then submit so this is our rigid we see that this one is for the density the bar shows the density and this is the normal distribution curve similarly we can change the title for our graph click on title and then let us give it a title can say just let us call it BP before and then we can also add a subtitle let us say it is BP before by by category or by let us say by sex of patient then we can also add a note and say for example source source is patient's data and then we click submit so now you see we have added a title this is the title BP before this is the subtitle by sex of patient and this is the note that the source is patient's data. Also, we can we can also change the the name of our graph. In this the graph the histogram that we have generated, you see the the name of this graph remains as just graph. So we can decide to use a unique name for or this particular histogram so that when we save it we are able to retrieve it retrieve it easily so we are going to click on sorry we are going to click on overall and give it a name here and when you are giving a name to your graph it is you do not use a space so we are going to call it let us just give it to call it histogram then you can use an underscore for BP BP before and then we click submit so now you see we have a, a new name for our graph and finally we can save our graph of course we can also change the color of our graph the color of our feelings the color of the outline and so much you can do so much on our histogram but for this tutorial we are going to get to that point so we are going to save our our histogram and just let it let the name remain as histogram for BP and then click save so in that example, so in our example, in that previous example, we have used a continuous data, but we can also use a continuous or a categorical data. And in that case, instead of the BP before, we are going to select sex. And then instead of con data are continuous, we select data district so whenever you select a variable that is categorical here then we change this to data are discrete 
So that is how you generate a histogram and we have seen that a histogram is very useful in showing the distribution of your data. It is easier to visualize than if we just looked at the data as it as low as it is. So that is it for today. If this content is useful to you, please do not forget to like this video. Also share this video and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye.